In today's video, does exercising in the heat burn more calories? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravello from ProPhysique.com and I got my man, Steve Bogran, in the house, Science with Steve. How you doing, Steve? Hey, you know, prep's over, so I'm feeling pretty good. No, so no offense. Hey, that's all right. <laughs> I got nothing else to do but work and prep, so life's good for me. So, today we're going to talk about a topic that Steve brought it up and I thought, wow, that's a pretty good topic. I've never talked about it, never thought about it. And I always wonder why people are wearing hoodies in the gym in Florida when they're doing cardio. So I guess they're hoping that they're burning more calories because they're hot. Right. So science, science the shit out of this. <laughs> <laughs> well, science the shit. All right, guys, real quick. I just wanted to let you know, sorry to interrupt the video, but I'm editing it right now. And I wanted to let you know that I'm actually leaving in a few minutes to New Jersey for NPC Universe. I'm going to document the weekend on the phone. I'm gonna do more day in the lifestyle videos. So for the next couple days, probably not gonna be the Q and A type videos. It's gonna be more day in the life um, of a contest prep coach, talking to my clients, how we peak, what our goals are for stage before contest, how we eat the day of, the day after, uh, the mindset of the athlete. So if this is something you guys are interested in, um, Check out the videos the next couple days, and now back to our regularly scheduled program. So what people think is that it takes a lot of calories or metabolic stress energy, right, to, to sweat. And the truth of the matter is it actually doesn't take much for our bodies to sweat. It's kind of just releasing water from the glands, you're getting rid of some sodium. Um, so yeah, it definitely feels like you're working harder right. um, because it is, it's stressful on your body but it's not really making your body do more. Could you make the case that doing cardio in heat is actually less beneficial because you, you have less work capacity? Absolutely, especially okay. um, if we look at things like, so one, you have to acclimate yourself to be able to exercise and perform in a hotter environment. So if performance is negatively impacted, that means calorie expenditure, expenditure is negatively impacted. Okay, and we're mostly dealing with physique athletes, so most of us are not trying to perform. Um, right. Cardio. So I, th I think what what I'm interested in is the idea that people cover up in their sweats. Right. Um, and sometimes people ask me, should I sit in a sauna after I train? So is there any benefit to being in a rested state and sweating? No, not in terms of body composition. Okay. So possibly if you're holding extra water, like we see right. that, then we're getting rid of extra water, right? That might be of benefit. But when we're talking about being in a normal weight loss phase. A lot of people look at, hey, my weight's down, I'm making progress, but yeah. really we're just dehydrating ourselves, we're getting rid of Dehydrating, salts. rehydrating, right. maybe pulling some water out of the, the, just underneath the skin so you look a little different after you do the sauna, so you feel a little better. So from that aspect, if it gets you excited about going to the gym and doing your cardio because you're going to sweat and look a little better, right. maybe there's a benefit, but you're telling me that heat applied to the body while you're performing cardio is not a benefit for the physique athlete. Correct. Okay. It would actually be the opposite. So if you were to be in a cooler environment, more AC okay. or you know out for, I wouldn't recommend jogging on ice, but out for a run or doing cardio so, when it's So done. you're referring to shivering. Right. So the shivers, which is actually like really tiny muscle contractions, right? Correct. Yeah, so that's not something I want to do when I do my cardio. No, definitely not. Maybe take a cold shower. Yeah. No. So, but even going swimming in a cooler pool, going to burn more yeah. calories. Okay. So if you sense. like doing your cardio via swimming, then that's a good option to possibly burn some extra calories and then still get your cardio time. So in. really the only benefit in your opinion would be for someone that needs to acclimate, let's say they're an endurance athlete and they need to perform in a hot, like a Florida environment where it's going to be probably right. more humid than they're used to. That's something that they'll get a benefit out of as a training in that environment. Yes, absolutely. They'll get better at the rate at which their body sweats, um, okay. how well and you, that everything evaporates off, how well your body is not only retaining water, um, but also retaining things like sodium and then the other electrolytes that are important for healthy Perfect. muscle function. All right, so the, you guys that like to get sweaty, now listen, I do my cardio in my garage at night on my treadmill and I like the feeling of sweat. Yeah. Like there's something, you know, if I'm in LA Fitness or any other gym and it's kind of cold in there and I'm doing my cardio and I don't break a sweat because it's so cool, 
I, I, I enjoy that less. I don't know yeah. if it's just the feeling of like I'm doing more work. So I get the idea of wearing the hoodies and sweating your butt off um, and the kind of looking cool afterwards for a little right. bit, but you're just going to replace that water when you drink. Your body is going to correct for that. It's going to keep the balance the same. Um, so yeah, if you're just dieting down, I don't think there's a real value to that other than maybe the psychological benefit. Absolutely. Which is valuable. There's value there. Whatever gets you excited about doing your cardio, um, it's good. Maybe yeah. Bikram yoga. You know, <laughs> no, like clients will say, right. hey, how do I burn more calories doing Bikram yoga than regular yoga? And you, I guess we're going to say it's probably not much, if any. Right. right. Right? So maybe they need to come out with Arctic yoga. Yeah. Mm, maybe that'd be, that'd be a nice one. Uh, All right, guys. I guess that's going to be it. It's a short one with Science with Steve. Uh, debunked. You're just wasting your damn sweat. All right. I'm about to go sweat. Oh,